Welcome to this week's plan with me. So the kit that I'm using is from the Plump Planner and it's only a two page kit which I usually am a bit wary of using because I always think that there are not enough stickers for me to fill out my planner and that they're more suited to a smaller personal size planner. So I thought I would just give them a go this week. I also picked out three felt tip pens that kind of match the kit that I could use and yeah we're just going to get straight on with it. So I'm not using any washi, so we're just going to go in day by day. So I took one of the felt tip pens and kind of coloured a little colour swatch to write my header on. And then I'm just writing down that my son has got his school trip today and the time that he was needed to leave and the time that he'll be home. And then I finished it off with a little happy puppet. I then marked down that I've got a meeting at nine o'clock that I have just got back home from. So underneath there, I'm just putting my full box down to block off some time. And then for my half box, I wanted to mark that I wanted to post some orders, although my cutting machine is actually having a bit of a meltdown today. So I'm not sure if I'm going to get them posted out today. And if I don't, then I'll post them out tomorrow. And then I wanted to create my to-do list, so again I just took my felt tip pen and squiggled a block of colour for me to write down my to-do header. And then I just write down everything that I want to get done today. So to try and stretch this kit out a little bit, I'm going to be not really doodling any pictures, but just using my pen and the coloured felt tip pens to create um, like headers or little things that I want that aren't actually included in this kit. Because I see lots of pretty kits around and they're only two pages and I always kind of stay away from them because I always think that they're not going to fit or they're not going to work in my planner. So I wanted to use it this week just to see if it does actually work and if you guys are ever wondering if a two page kit would work for you then hopefully this will help you out. So I put down my to-do header and just filled out everything that I wanted to do and then I completely forgot I've got these Coffee Monster Co stickers and this one has got like the stickers that are in the little post box so I put that down next to post orders. I put my full box down and one of the large deco and stuck it in the middle and then I created my own washi just with my felt tip pen and I write down that I wanted to design and put a little happy poppy down. Underneath there I've got two TV programs that I want to put on and obviously there are no little things so I just doodled myself a little thing sticker just with my pen with a little TV icon and then wrote down that I wanted to watch it RuPaul and Gilmore Girls. I took a stack of books which is from Strawberry Lime Designs I think and I just wrote down that my daughter will need to study and the boys will need to do their homework. Moving on to Wednesday, I put down my full box and then I didn't like it up that high so I just moved it down and then I didn't like it there at all so I just switched it out and then put a quarter box down as I need to choose some paint for my kitchen so we're going to be decorating my kitchen and the poppet that I've put up there has got like a little work belt thing on and it's from the home life sheet. Underneath that I put my full box down and then I made another little colour swatch to do my to-do header. I'm going to be designing and then I definitely want to have a little tea break and a catch up on YouTube or a YouTube binge. So I just write down for a tea break and use one of my little tea time poppets. And then underneath that I done another little thing sticker. It's not a sticker, you know what I mean. <laughs> another little thing section and just write down at YouTube. I also want to edit a video that hopefully I'm going to be filming on Tuesday. It's a little planner DIY kind of thing, which I'm hoping turns out okay. And so I'm going to want to edit that on Wednesday. And then of course I've got housework to do because that's literally all I do. So flipping it over to Thursday, I used one of the headers. There are a few headers in this kit, but there just isn't enough for every single day. I drew an Etsy symbol and just wrote down Etsy day and created another kind of washi strip with my felt tip pen. And then I used another Coffee Monster Co sticker, which has got the little Etsy bags. 
on to do some printing and cutting on Thursday so I just wrote down to print and cut and then I put my full box down before putting one of these cutting machines down which is from Planning with Roses. I then put down an important header and a half box because I want to make sure that I finish my new release for Friday. I write down to upload my video hopefully on Thursday and I put a little YouTube pop it down and then I wanted to paint my nails as well so I just used one of my nail icons from my shop. So for Friday I put down a to do header and then just write down new release and put a little Etsy pop it down. I then put down my full box and then I realised I needed to white out the little orange striplets there. So I just whited out that, put that down and I've also got a payday. I didn't like where I put the payday down at the bottom so I just moved that to the middle. I've also got some bills due so I used one of the poppets that are holding the bills. I then whited out the next orange line and put down two bill stickers. These are from Handmade Hayward, I think they're from. I then drew a coloured line to stick this planner on from Planning Roses to mark down that I wanted to film next week's plan with me. And then at the bottom there I used a green bin icon from Handmade Hayward and wrote down that it was my green bin collection. So for the weekend I just created a little colour swatch and wrote down weekend. And then these are my newest releases, they came out on Friday, these are the gardening poppets. There's lots of different ones on there, you should definitely go and check them out if you are looking for any gardening stickers or characters. I used the one with the lawnmower to mark down that I wanted to cut the grass and I also need to trim the hedge out the front of my house so I just used the one that are holding the shears. I put my full box down and then my poppet checklist down as well. So for Sunday I need to go and buy the paint that hopefully we would have picked out on Wednesday but I am the most indecisive person in the world so <laughs> this might not happen this weekend. But hopefully I will be able to go and pick out the paint that we have chosen. I also need to order some new tiles for the kitchen. I put down my full box and then I also need to edit the video that I filmed on Friday so I just use one of the computer poppets from my shop and then again my daughter will need to study and revise so I just used another stack of books from Strawberry Lamb Designs. I've got two TV shows that I would like to watch as well which is obviously RuPaul and Jane the Virgin. So flipping it over to the sidebar I used my last full box at the top, I then coloured in a section to write down for next week. By using colour pens and creating my own headers I actually didn't miss using sticker headers at all because I was making my own anyway so it wasn't like I was not using them, I was just creating my own instead of using a sticker so this kit has definitely been really easy to use and whatever I didn't have I just either used a coloured pen for or I just drew with my black pen. To fill up the gap here I just used a half box and wrote a quote on which says a cactus is just a really aggressive cucumber. Then underneath I created another section with my coloured pen for my work. I still had some room at the end so I just used another half box. So moving on I had a few more pieces of deco left which made me super happy because I feel like it's been ages since I put any deco at the top here. So I just stuck them down at the top and as those two were matching I put it down at the bottom where my sidebar is just so then there wasn't too matching along the top. And then I would just trim off what is overhanging. So I've pretty much used everything. There's literally four headers left and one half box. It was really fun and really easy to use a smaller kit so I'll definitely be looking out for more. I've really enjoyed filling out my plan this week so I hope you guys liked it. If you did make sure you give me a thumbs up. Also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new. I would love to have you here with us. 
Hope you guys have a lovely week and I will see you next time. Bye guys.